Hello, YouTubers. This is a new session in our podcast series where we get to talk about amazing engineers, geniuses from everywhere around the world, people that, you know, show resiliency, uh, dedication, loyalty, you know, consistency, constancy in the way they achieve their dreams and they continue to influence other engineers around the world with their creations, with their words, with their attitudes, with everything that they have. They put 100% every day, every day to the end of the time and to the end of the journey. Um, you know, my guest today is a person that is very near and dear to my heart. I'd like to think of him as my little brother, uh, my dear friend, Elbic. How are you doing, brother? I'm very good, sir. Thank you very much for having me. It's a great pleasure to talk to you. It's good to have you. So, you know, I, I was like perusing the internet the other day, and then I saw this post, you know, you know, the, you know, people are telling me, you know, this Elbic guy that you talk to. He, he became a Microsoft most valuable professional. What the heck is that? And, 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 and did you did you get it from Walmart? Did you buy this from Walmart from the supermarket? How do you, how do you do that? Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, it's 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 a great honor for me to to be nominated as a Microsoft most valuable professional. Um, yeah, it was announced the other day, uh, and I was very happy and excited. And at the same time, I felt a lot more responsibility uh, after receiving the notification from Microsoft saying that we recognize you as uh, from your exceptional community leadership and help to other people. Uh -huh. So, yeah, that has been uh, the great news for us. And yeah. I hope that would, uh, that actually gave me more energy and passion to give back more to the people and try to give a more valuable content to the audience I am talking to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So 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 tell me from the beginning, right? You uh -huh. know, tell people okay. teach me, help me be an MVP too. I actually mm -hmm. can't be mm -hmm. an MVP, but you know, to, <laughs> assume that I am, you know, a person that's trying to find my way and mm -hmm. you know, what does it like where do you begin? What wakes you up mm -hmm. in the morning? You know, mm -hmm. what wakes you up in the morning? What makes you, you know, super adamant on, you know, contributing to the community, leading the community? Because I know, you know, almost 70 to 80 percent of the stuff that you do, you just do it for the sake of God. You don't really get paid anything for it. Yeah. What keeps you going? Go yeah. ahead. So um, first of all, uh, I think being an, an MVP is just a, a title that was given by Microsoft, mm -hmm. but actually it's it's a state of mind. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, uh, if if I if I at the end of the day, if I look at myself and I say I was valuable to one person today, and that's it, that's enough. And I felt that um, six or seven months ago, through my YouTube channel, one guy reached out to me and said, "Hey, did." I watched all your videos and I got the job. That feeling never left me, and I and and I think of it every day, and I and 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 I'll be happy for my life. I, I would say, okay, uh, one person got a job because of the some effort, some little effort I have done uh, throughout some time, and uh -huh. I fulfilled my purpose, uh -huh. and this is enough for me to continue what I have been doing. Uh -huh. Till the rest of my life, uh, the, till the rest of my life. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I was studying in one course at some point in my life, and I had an amazing teacher, and he said that if you cook the best cake in the world, the best cake, and only if if only one person enjoys it, it this should be enough for you to oh, keep yeah. continue your effort. Yeah. Don't yeah. try to reach millions of people because you, you know that you cook the best of the best cake in the world it's yeah. not it, it will be arrogance just yeah. keep pushing keep giving value even even if on the other side there is only one person yeah and yeah. Uh, i like your views on the social media because it really amplifies your values your core values if you are really into helping people it amplifies that value 
hundreds of times. You know, yesterday I made, I made a video. Uh, it's 17 minutes long. I was playing with OpenAPI. Yeah. And, within, and within one hour of publication of this video, yeah. it got 14 hours of watch time. Yep. This yep. means I put 17 minutes of effort into doing the video, probably just helping people learn something new. Uh-huh. And it got amplified 10 or 15 times. That's that's insane. I, yeah. I, I'm just mind blown. So, <laughs> so, so, like you're, yeah. so, so you're saying, you know, the, the, a better use of social media. Yeah. You can invest 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and it can grow into, you know, hundreds and hundreds of hours. So, so let me ask you this. What are your biggest challenges, right? You know, where, you know, what's the biggest challenge that you face? You know, you get up every day, mm-hmm. your heart is set on helping people, right? What's some yes. of the challenges that you face? Yeah, so yeah, sometimes sometimes uh you might need to take a breath. And yeah, and so I think this is my biggest challenge for now. I, I get up in the morning, I try to do too many things at the same time, and I you may not yourself. <laughs> yeah, I, I might overwhelm myself and think I should do a lot of things at the same time. But yes. physically and uh, yeah, physically I might not have time or potential to do those things because our brain juice is limited uh, yeah. and our, our ca- concentration get might lost at, at this point of time when you switch between different many contexts in a, in a day yeah so sometimes it's it's very good to have a mentor who who can tell you hey uh, take a take a break take a break yeah. and then we get started that would be the 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 best thing that you can have because um mm-hmm. because when you are set to help people to to care about your family your your p- people around you and at the same time in your workplace you want to bring best value to 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 your boss and to your uh, com- company mm-hmm. uh you, you you might think the human aspect of yourself mm-hmm. there is also you Mm-hmm. You also need need to be taking time for yourself, even right. not your family, yourself in uh, investing your, in, in yourself, yeah, and knowing wh- when to invest and whether you are investing sometimes can be challenging. Sometimes yep. it's better to have some other person who is more experienced than you, who knows um, who, who knows more about you and uh, what's going on in the world and advice and give you some break and uh, roadmap on how, what to do and how to do things. Yeah, that's that's great challenge for, for, for me really these days. So, so you're basically saying it's important to have mentors, you know, don't try to do it by yourself. But also at the same time, it's it's more like, more importantly, because knowledge is always available, but it's always important to find someone to tell you, hey, take a break, you know, slow down, you're killing yourself. You know, because I understand like a lot of engineers sometimes suffer from burnout. Burnout is when they, you know, push 120 miles at something and then the next day they just crash, you know, and then that the impact of this, like the psychological impact, you know, people get a little bit depressed and sad and all that. Okay, so there is that challenge, right? You know, you have to be able to prioritize. You have to be able to know when, when to put what, where and all that. Okay, what what other possible challenges that you might have? You know, mm-hmm. in your in your amazing service that you give back to, you know, your community. Just just for the people watching, you know, if you've never met Elbic, I've never heard about him. He's, he's the very very he's the very first, you know, uh, software engineer in his country of Uz- Uzbekistan to become a Microsoft most valuable uh, professional. So that takes a lot of dedication. It's not something that you can. It's it's not like a like a Twitter, you know, blue chick that you can get with $8, you know, it's a little bit harder than that. So, you know, tell me, tell me what other challenges that you might have, you know, in this journey and on in this road. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, another thing is, 
that I, I sometimes uh, feel difficulty in is keep pushing, you know, no matter how uh, small the value that I'll be giving to the people is, uh, I should always keep pushing. Mm. Be it be it two minutes video where I show how to do how to write in multiple lines in Visual Studio, or uh, or a little blog, or just a statement in my Twitter or, or similar programs. Yeah. yeah. Just I I I have to be pushing myself to do some content to the people. Nice. Because oh. mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So don't undermine don't undermine your content, no matter how small it is. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you yeah, can yeah. put it. You can put it as a giphy. You can put it as a blog post. You can put it as a statement. You know, or a status. It doesn't have to be a whole book. It doesn't have to be a four-hour video or anything like that. You know, if it hits you, that means that you need to share it. Share it with the world. Okay. It looks like we lost the connection there. Let's see if we can get Elbic back. All right, Air, I can hear you and see you now. Yeah. We lost yeah, you there for a that. second. Yeah, sorry okay. about that. Yeah, okay, stop Stop all these, uh, you know, servers that you're running in the background, taking all, taking all your internet, you know? <laughs> you might not remember this, but a long time ago, you know, people used, used to use a peer-to-peer -peer service where your wow. computer is the server and mm -hmm. the other person's computer is the server and people are just sharing files. So there is no cloud, there's no common server, you know, and that used to take down the internet badly, especially back in the dial up days and all that. But anyway, yeah, that's just an old man rant. Don't worry about what I just said. So so <laughs> back to you, you know, you're talking about, you know, don't undermine the yeah. the amount of knowledge that you want to share. Just find yeah. the right format and the right audience and you just put it out there. Okay. So Elbic, tell me. Tell me what's next for you. What are you planning to do next in your journey, you know, to continuing to contribute to the community? I know for a fact that knowing you personally and, and, and working with you and knowing all that, I know that you didn't really seek an MVP. It's just something that will help you kind of amplify your message. It's like when you get a, a, a doctorate degree, so you are able to kind of teach you know, students in schools and, and, and colleges and universities and stuff like that. What's next for Elbic? What are you planning on next? Go ahead. Yeah, uh, there are a lot of work to do. I have a, a long list of to do's. First of all, uh, I'm really, uh, as you as you might know, at this point in time, I'm really into the standard, the uh, sharing the good word to the people I can reach. So the next step on my uh, to-do list is uh, translating the standards so that my community, Uzbek community, will have direct access to that knowledge. Yeah. Because I really believe that the, 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 the knowledge and the experiences you see in the standard book mm -hmm. is very, very valuable for, for the person who, who is just entering the software engineering realm. You know, I, I mentor quite a few people um, and I, I ask every now and then, okay, how do you feel about the standard? And what's the difference between the standard way of developing applications and the, the ones that you have developed previously? Uh -huh. And they say, I see the roadmap clearly. Yep. I see components that, are, that have their own responsibilities. And it's very clear for them. And the the very the very important thing that they mentioned to me, unanimously they tell me that working in a team, pair programming has been the greatest aspect of the standard because there there is you know there is this programming part of our job, and there, there should also be human part. The people and part, people yeah. enjoy talking to other people. And I, I don't ask um, I don't ask th these questions for feedback in in general you know groups I ask them individually yes and the the striking thing would is that they all say working in a team is good and yes. they don't they don't you know yes uh, mm -hmm. 
you know talk before before answering the question you know <laughs> yes yes that's that's amazing it's good to hear and yeah. you know i also want to point out like you know elbic has been a crucial fundamental part of the standard community that we have this discord community going to find the link in the description of this video yeah. and he's been continuously helping people reviewing pull requests you know trying to bring people uh, onto knowledge and and by the way that's the point of it it's not enough that you know something it's really important that you share that something with people and that's what yeah. elbic has been doing you know he doesn't keep anything this brother right here you know from my own you know kind of experience you know and just testimony he doesn't keep anything in his pockets before he goes to bed so whatever he learns he shares learn share learn yeah. share he's just going in that cycle right yeah. and then there's elbic in the middle learn share <laughs> learn and share so so this is just to make it threes because you know i like that number a lot but um okay so one one more thing for you you know i uh, you know, I, I hear that, you know, there's always challenges. There's always the path forward. I want to hear your thoughts about this new era of chat GBT and wow. AI machine learning and all that. Do you see that in any way or form kind of impacting your journey or changing your plan or any way? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really hopeful that this AI thing will be the great helper to mm -hmm. us because yeah uh, i feel uh, i really want to feel that there will be some human aspect in in developing software no matter how technical job it might be i uh -huh. hope that we need some people because you know i really like to think about uh, cook the cook the chef yeah the we chef, always yeah. we always you know we, the, you can give uh, making preparing a, a meal to the cook uh, to the to the uh, you know machine it will give you something but are you satisfied with this something uh -huh. uh, no you always want to eat something from the hands of a person uh -huh. and that, that gives some some there is some spirit in it and i uh -huh. always want that there will be there will be the this need for human spirit in the software softwares in the future as well so some people are worried but I'm not. I really hope <laughs> this AI will be a helper for us. I, I've been playing with this uh, system as well, mm -hmm. just seeing what it can do uh, possibly. And, you know, I always ask myself, like, here's a question that I always ask. Can, can a machine be inspired? Oh. Right? I haven't actually asked that question before. So let's see what it, what it does, right? Let's play with it. Why not, right? There you go. Often a situation with creativity and the generation of new ideas. It's not something that can be easily defined or measured. And it's not clear whether it is something that can be experienced by machines. So I think this is, you know, mm. this is really the essence of it. You know, even the machine itself is telling you, I don't know what inspiration is. You know, I don't know how to define it. And as long as there is this very human aspect of our industry, inspiration, kindness, love, dedication, you know, uh, you know, sitting down with someone and really, really trying to uh, on the fly, adjusting your way of, you know, kind of explaining a certain point to them, you know, we're still kind of, you know, light years away from kind of detecting something like that. Okay. What is one thing you want to tell engineers everywhere? you know, that's something that's in your heart and you want to amplify, I think. Where, where are we now? Yeah, 8,000 8, 8, subscribers. So I'm giving you 8,000 mm -hmm. subscribers and 10,000 more on LinkedIn. Tell me what you want to say to people. Go ahead. I, uh, so I always felt that oh, you before should that, be... just, just for the people ah. watching, these are not transcripted questions. <laughs> I literally just like about an hour ago, I said, hey, Elbic, you got the MVP. Great. Let's have a party. Let's celebrate. Let's do a quick podcast mm -hmm. session and let's see, you know, <laughs> you know what you have to say about it. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. I'm listening. Go ahead. Yeah. So uh, I really um, want to think about the times when I, re when I first started my YouTube channel. 
Uh, I wasn't very, I wasn't very tech, uh, you know, tech expert. Uh, I, I don't consider myself tech expert even now, but, <laughs> but you know, I think you are. But go ahead. <laughs> we are, we are all uh, in the journey of learning, and uh, and I don't think uh, I, I the, uh, there will be a, a point in my life that I I, I will say that's it uh, that I have learned enough. No. I, I am a li lifetime learner, a student, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and yeah, this is my um, mindset. And you know, even if I, I know this little, this little, uh -huh. uh, I try to share, no matter what. Yeah. Uh, this is a good job, even if, even if s some people think I am not qualified to do that, I keep doing it. Yeah. Because you know, at the beginning of creating this YouTube channel, as I said, I wasn't I was a university student, yes. but I was this much privileged than my fellows. I was yeah. studying in one of the most pre the most prestigious university in Uzbekistan. This I, is, I had a great Ashland university or yes, it's yes. Westminster University okay. in Tashkent. Yes. Okay. Okay. The the so uh, I thought that I knew English. I, I I have the access to the ocean of knowledge, but the remaining 17 million my fellows do not have that. If you go to my uh, oh I removed that video from my channel where yeah. I where I told that I am a student yeah. and I know English. I have the access to the knowledge and I'll keep sharing those knowledges as I learn. Yes. So th there are a lot of smart people in the in the in the you know in your audience in my audience right now who keep yep. thinking that I will start sharing my knowledge when I reach this level or yep. when I when I when I am qualified from from some company that I am senior or I am you know yeah. lead they yeah. are waiting that point but I, I was very afraid when I become that senior uh i might be uh, lazy or something yeah go to that uh blue blue thing blue uh yeah this this, no, the, the, on the on the left this one here yes this this video uh-huh where i'm explicitly saying i am a student i know english and i i try to teach what i know yeah. I didn't say that I'm. I work at this company. I'm a software. Agent. I was learning at the time. Yeah. And even if I was learning, I just tried to help because you know, crowd learning. It might be fun. And yeah. people thought I. I. I knew. I, I knew a lot. And yes. I tried to knew a lot for them as well because they ask questions. I know how to Google. <laughs> I went to the Google and tried to, you know, to answer them. The <laughs> You know, yes. I, I have to tell you something. You're you're actually playing a very crucial role, you know, for yeah. your nation, for your country, yeah. because you are basically a bridge, a cultural bridge that's actually, you know, bridging the knowledge between the English speaking world yeah. and the non English speaking world, you know, doing that transformation and working tirelessly on doing that transformation is how, you know, civilizations get started right at some point in time you know there was a lot of uh european um yeah. students that would go to andalusia yeah. which is known today as, as spain yeah. you know to kind of get the knowledge from from people at a time and kind of transfer that knowledge back into europe you know to kind of civilize and start yeah. building you know more more advanced i think you're doing something very similar i think you know yeah. it's one of the noblest things and you know i i have to say you know it's it's very inspiring you know and just to look at the amount of reactions and comments you know on your post these are just the people that decided to type imagine the people that looked at it and actually felt happy you know they didn't have to write anything they didn't have <coughs> excuse me they didn't have to leave a reaction they didn't have to do anything but they felt happy for you they prayed for you you know they they wished you the best and sent you uh positive thoughts and you know on the road to uh become a a most valuable professional uh just just for the people watching you know elbic is 
is one of these individuals that, you know, is mainly, you know, determined on making sure that he brings everyone on board with him. He brings everyone on board with him. So it's not enough that he knows the tricks of, you know, building and architecting a system. Whatever he learns, I, I never talk to him about something until the other day he goes and teaches it to everyone he knows. And that's the kind of hearts that can change the world. That's the kind of hearts that can actually change our culture for the better. Um, my dear brother, it's always a pleasure talking to you. Uh, this is my way of celebrating you to bring you on a podcast like this and, you know, have a lot of people be inspired by your story and your journey. And, uh, you know, from from my heart to yours, keep going. Uh, you have everyone's support and you have everyone's blessing. It's not always going to be bunnies and rainbows out there. You know, sometimes there will be a little bit of struggle and a little bit of, you know, uh, difficulties. But as long as you have, you know, uh, good people by your side everything everything will be okay you know and you know uh, please go and check you know if you've never you know heard of elbic or, or or followed elbic before please you know go check out his channel especially if you're from uzbekistan because that's what he's really doing he's he's translating the content you know as much as he can and he, you know i'm gonna need your help kind of writing a nice uh, uh, uh intro in in uzbek in my uh in my in my linkedin post and 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 twitter post because you know <laughs> just help a brother out you know what i mean i mean for, for the record there's a lot of similarities you know like i see you saying things like mohandis mohandis yeah. is, is 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 an engineer right so exactly. that's, that's that's like an arabic word i think it was originally persian because you know but it, it mm -hmm. evolved into uh something being used i i keep hearing you saying a lot of things all the time mm -hmm. and i'm like i know what this guy is saying i think mm -hmm. i know what this guy is saying you know uh it's not the very first time that uh uzbekistan produces a, a genius or a scholar or someone that changed the world for those watching if you know muhammad al bukhari that that guy is coming from there and maybe elbik is going to be the bukhari of the tech industry we'll see mm -hmm. thank you so much sir for coming in today i appreciate you Excellent. All right. Thank you, Jess, for having me. It's a great honor to talk to you and have, have your guest. Awesome. Awesome. And of course, for the people watching us, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or compliments for Mr. Elbik here, you know, please drop a comment in the comment section as usual. Don't forget to like and subscribe to his channel too. See you in another video. Take care, brother. Bye.